hello guys my name is rohit kumar thakur and in this video i will show you how to show the validation error message in the react native forms uh, before we start the video uh, if you are looking for the full email authentication using react native expo and firebase then you are right in place i will provide the link to this video in the description and comment box i covered login registration email verification password change uh, users dashboard logout and custom uh, ui design in that video some of you have asked me to make a video on form validation so here we are uh, if you already have started your project then uh, you can skip the project setup part uh, but if you are uh, new to the react native expo uh, you can begin a react native project in the following way Start the project, select the blank template, name your application and continue to dependencies downloading. Uh, in our project, uh, we are not going to do anything fancy. Uh, we are just uh, going to play with React Native forms. Uh, import the text input and button components from react native we are going to use the use state hook uh, because the empty value of the input field is going to change with some text value uh, but before jumping into the code uh, let's run this project to check that our application is working fine Okay, I need to update my Expo Go mobile application. Uh, here we go. Uh, you can see that our project is running smoothly on our Expo Go application. Now let's customize the code. Uh, we are going to use the use state hook uh, for the email and password fields. The initial state of both the field is set to empty. Uh, we are going to replace the empty state uh, with the text. Same thing uh, we are going to do with the error message. Uh, we are not going to show errors to the users first. Uh, but if they commit some mistake uh, then we are going to show them the error in the form of text. So here the empty state is changed to the text state. Here if the email does not contain at the rate of, then we simply set the email error state to invalid email. And if the password length is less than 6, then we simply set the password error state to a uh, password must be at least 6 characters. The email and password field uh, must not be empty and must not contain empty spaces.
and if the uh, user's input falls under the above criteria then we simply show them the email and password error otherwise uh, we will set the email and password error fields empty you can add more criteria for the form validation according to the need of your project now let's customize the ui of the application a little bit We need a text input component for the email and password fields. Next, uh, we need a simple button. Now to show the form error, I am using the text component. Now add some styling and test the working of the application. You can see that our application is working fine and it is showing a validation error if I commit some mistake in the input field. Uh, this is what we wanted right. Uh, that's it for this project. Uh, see you in the next React Native project tutorial video.